So the first thing I always check are uh, bolts obviously and I'm checking the eccentric uh, bolts on this which are these three on this side and basically just give it a bit of a twist you'll see very quickly which ones are loose not doing anything so at this point this is the um, the one that needs to be adjusted the most so I'll just give it a bit of a, bit of a nudge and you can see now that that's firmed up quite a bit there give this one a little bit of a nudge Oops, wrong side, what am I talking about? It's the other side. Silly me. There we go. Okay. We need to adjust this one a little bit more. That still needs a touch more. Okay, I've adjusted them the best I can, and as you can see, just turning the bolt, or turning the wheel I should say, moves the, the actual frame itself. Now this one, I just can't quite get right, uh, but that doesn't matter. The three eccentric bolts are tight, which is all that matters, and the outer ones uh, on both sides are gripping nicely, so that should be okay. Now all I'm going to do is just simply go around checking all the bolts, make certain everything is tight enough. Is that in there? That's a different size. Okay. Whatever you do, don't over tighten as you can ruin the threads very, very easily because you're just bolting into aluminium. This is only the, the wheel or the legs at the bottom that I'm testing at the moment. They're all pretty good. There's nothing really, nothing really loose there. Okay, and we've got a couple of big bolts up here, which are next size, I think. Yep, yep, yep that's tight, that's tight, that's tight. That one's tight. Okay, so they're all okay. And, uh, the next size down, is it that one? No, next one, that one. That was that one. Yep, okay, that's everything there, okay. Yep, that's tight. So everything there is tight. Now I'll go to the other end of the uh, gantry, or actually bed I should say, and uh, check the bolts up there. Or actually I might even rotate the whole lot around, that's probably easier. I'll just do this. We just got a few little bolts up this area here to sort of uh, tinker with, so we'll check them out. lined up nicely so that's looking pretty good now you'll probably notice when you get your printer 
Oops. <laughs> Probably notice that um, you get little marks that looks like it's been used. Well, that's simply because they have tested it. They've actually put the printer together and um, where are those lines again? I've lost them. Where did they go? Oh, there they are. So they've actually tested the printer to make certain it's working before it's shipped. Just going to move this across and again we're just going to check to make certain everything is uh, you can see that's loose that's okay I'm just going to cut cut the uh, zip tie away now and uh, as you can see that's on the loose side so that needs a little bit of tightening I'm not going to do too much on this. I'm going to basically sit this on the bed first and then do the uh, final adjustments. Again, all I'm doing is just basically checking uh, tensions to make certain everything is uh, is reasonably tight. If you don't want things coming loose on you while it's uh, printing, and just for a couple of seconds, extra time involved, it's well worth it. Yeah. Let's flip over the other side. Again, we've got a few little bolts to have a quick look at, but um, you'd be pretty hard pressed if there's something loose, they're generally pretty, pretty good. Oh, that's done, that's nice. Okay, now I'm going to cut the um, zip tie down here as well that's the zip tie out of the way and I'll take these ones off as well up the top here and there's one right up the very top of the uh, gantry as well Oops. so that's cut away okay the next thing we'll be doing is using these little bolts to put the gantry in position so you grab your bolt you grab your little spring washer Pop them on, there's uh, four of them, so I'll do that right now. Now I'll move the gantry out of the way and bring the bed up and get ready to bolt the two together. I'm going to move the camera just a little bit, give myself a little bit more room to work. Okay, and here we go. Now the motor and the um, extruder itself goes to the back of the actual printer so this is the back so this goes that direction now move across a bit better okay now we're going to have to obviously bolt this in position so I'm just going to tip this up on its side yeah, so all you've got to do is do up four little bolts two there and two up the top here with my thumb is and uh, that's basically it and we'll rotate it onto its base there now my table isn't square so I know that if I get a bit of movement I don't worry too much about it now the next thing we do we just pop out this little bit of foam that's uh, not required down there Instructions. I said I was going to follow them. So, where are we? So, the first thing I've done is the base, which are these two here, which are the bolts that go underneath, holding up the gantry on both sides. They have been fitted. Now we're going to the next bit, which is um, install the right T fixed block. So, a T fixed block is this little thing. Okay, I'll put that behind. So they've got um, wonderful little uh, bolts that I really hate these things, but the T-bolts, but 
that's because I have difficulty with my hands but apart from that they, they work pretty good so this has to go on the other side of the printer not on this side it goes the other side which I will turn the printer around and assemble it so let's turn it around try not to get things caught up underneath swing around a bit more and see if we're in alignment okay that'll do so this little section fits up in under here okay so it's pretty oops <laughs> dropping things pretty easy so it pops into there so i'll set that up right now <laughs> 